two 10 gigabit ethernet switches. This one over here is a TP-Link TLSX105 5 port 10 gigabit ethernet switch. As you see, there are five ports and they go up to 10 gigabit per second. But notice that this one also has a five gigabit per second option as well as 2.5, one and 100 megabits per second. This thing is fanless, built well. It's got ventilations on the side right here and it's actually a little bit bigger than the TrendNet version. This is a TrendNet. TEG S750 and it has five ports and it's 10 gigabit per second as well. But just notice that this one does not have a five gigabit per second option. It goes from 10 gigabit per second down to 2.5 gigabit per second, one gigabit per second, 100 megabits per second, or 10 megabits per second. So it does not have that five gigabit per second, but it's also built really well. It's fanless, got ventilation on both sides, and it's a little bit smaller than the TP-Link version. If you compare them side by side, the TrendNet is a little bit deeper, but it's actually a little bit shorter than the TP-Link. The TP-Link is a little bit bigger in general, and it's a little bit heavier too, but it does have the five gigabit per second, and it's a solid fanless switch right here. The TP-Link is also a solid fanless switch and it also is 10 gigabit per second. We use them both in our network and I love how compact they are and they're very, very quiet because, well, no fans. So there we go. Two awesome 10 gigabit switch. Now these are unmanaged switch, so there's no settings you need to do. All you gotta do is plug your RJ45s in and you're good to go. Five ports either way, both of them are fanless. Oh yeah, let's go. 10 gigabit per second ethernet. Woo! Let's go. 10 gigabit per second ethernet. Oh yeah.